Notts County Talk, first video back since the reaction to the Leicester victory, which was a good one, Will. A good one. And you got a smirk on your face because we restart this video a couple of times. It's even problem. But you're buzzing to be honest, aren't you? Yeah, I'm buzzing to be honest. I've been running to it for ages and now I've done it in the space for three times in about a minute. But no, I am looking forward to it a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these are our pre season predictions for the National League 2022 23 season. Um, we're going to take you from 24th all the way to first. Who you think is going down? Who's going to make the playoffs? We'll tell you who we think is going to win the playoffs and who's going to win the league. Um, I've got Will with me. George, unfortunately, can't with us for this video. Um, so we'll run you through that. This is a bit of fun before the season. We're going to mention some, some players that won't still be at their clubs or players that will have moved clubs by the time this video gets to the start of the season. Um, and I've just seen Solo Hull have signed um, a striker in the past few minutes before filming this. We are filming this on the day of upload, so it's as up to date as possible. And if you don't like what we're doing um, or where we put your team, for example, Will's got Wrexham 22nd. If you don't like <laughs> that, then um, yeah, it's just a bit of fun. We're not going to get them all right. We'll probably get most of these wrong. So yeah. um, let's kick it off, shall we, Will? Let's kick it off, yeah. Okay. So our national prediction for the 22 23 season. Bottom of the league. We've gone Two. Maidstone and Maidenhead. I'll kick off. I've gone Maidstone. I'll go for the positives. They've signed James Alarby. I think it's a good signing for them. But, and I will say this now, most of our predictions are based on data, things that we're seeing from the past few seasons, signings made. This, for me, is one of these gut reactions. I think I... Uh, I feel like they're one of these teams that, despite winning the league, they're just not good enough. Yeah. Like a Norwich City. They'll go and win the league, and then they just don't, don't cut it. And I think, look, four teams go down from this division this year, so it's difficult, it's tough, and I think they're going to finish bottom. Um, they were really good defensively, conceded 38 goals um, all season, which is less games than they even played. But at the end of the day, look at the strikers going up against this division. Um Mullin, you know, the, the, the two knots of sign from Gateshead. They're up against Dallas. Some really, really, really good strikers. And I think that'll, that'll catch them up. You've got Maidenhead? Yeah, I've got Maidenhead. As you said, we know we're going into data and things like that. But it's the gazebo at the uh, at the away end that really did it for me. Obviously, we saw him last game of the season last year. I wasn't impressed. Um, it, the, the stadium and the ground isn't isn't even National League level. But on the pitch... You know, they've lost their striker today, uh, Josh Kelly, uh, who scored 15 goals last season. Fifteen got Them losing 15 goals is going to be massive for them. I don't see anyone stepping up and scoring the goals for them. I think, you know, they took some good big scalps at home last season, but I don't think they'll be able to replicate it without a clinical striker. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see them surviving, to be fair. And I think fair play, yeah, I, I just don't think they'll do it. Yeah, I mean, you 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 would have written these just before Josh Kelly even went, so that must seriously cement it for you now that you think they yeah. finished them. Yeah. Well, I wrote, yeah, I wrote it down. I thought I put speculation. I thought he was going to go Scunthorpe or something, but he's gone to Solio Lanny. So yeah, no chance. Twenty yeah. third. I've gone Dorking. You've gone Gateshead. What's your reason for Gateshead? Well, Gates just because we've done a complete robbery on them. That's that's the main reason. We've literally gone into their pocket and took their two best players. It's 52 goals we've took from him, which I wonder if any team's ever done that to another team before. Literally took that many goals away from them with players. It's it's, it's madness. I don't think they, they can't replace them. They've got Lewis Knight from us. Um, he's not going to get more than 10, I don't think. If he gets 10, it'll be a push. I like him. I think he's a good player, but he's not a prolific goal scorer in the National League. Got to stay fit. Got to stay fit. There's not really much evidence that he will stay fit. He didn't score loads when he went out on loan again last season. So I'd I mean, he's a good, he's a workhorse, but he's not a goal scorer. So I think they'll really struggle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've gone Dorking. 101 goals for them last season in the league. That's massive. That's a massive amount of goals. Like we thought, not scored a lot last season, and we were sort of like 20 odd less than that. Yeah. So that that's massive for them. That's what could keep them up. They did finish below Main uh, Maidstone, obviously. That I put bottom. Um, they could surprise me, Dork, and I know a few people have got them high, a few people have got them to stay up. We'll see where you put them. Mm -hmm. But they've lost Darren Oldacre to Chesterfield. Now, I didn't watch a lot of uh, the Leeds below Knots last season. Um, 
but from what I've seen, a lot of good people on Twitter at the minute doing um, stats and threads. Really, really interesting. So it helps us out. He was big for them. Um, yeah. They could surprise me. They're going to have to score a lot this season, I think, to, to stay up. Definitely. 22nd place and still getting relegated to them. I've gone Wildstone. And you've gone, I've gone Maidstone. Maidstone. I've gone Wildstone. Now, Josh Amir has gone. Good player for them. No disrespect. I think they've been punching well above their weight in the last few years. I really do. I know there's one year in the National League, I think they shipped in a horrendous amount of goals, but they've done really well to stay up. They have done very, very well to stay up. Tavares has also gone, which is really big loss for them. Um, they've made some decent additions. So this is why I don't put them, don't put them 23rd or 24th. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Kinsella, I think from older shot. And is it Max Kreshmar who they've signed? Yeah, yeah. Could be good, but I just don't I don't think they've got enough this year. Like I like I was I was saying to you earlier, the league is way stronger this year overall. I know we lost stop over a massive, massive um force in this league last year, ridiculous force. But I think on the whole, the league is stronger and now it will out sort of Wheelstone yeah. this year. And I think they've done well, but this is gonna catch up on them. Yeah. You've lost you've lost like the Dovers, haven't you? Like no real big disrespect to Dover, but they were just the whipping boys, weren't they, last season? Yeah, Teams exactly. like Wilson were getting points off them. I don't think Maidstone and Dorkin and York will be that sort of them sort of teams, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah I went for yeah, I went for Maidstone. I've not got really much to add from what you said, putting them down in 24th. I just don't think they're gonna gonna make the cut. They might be a bit of a yo-yo club at this level and the level below, but yeah, I just just basically reiterate what you said. I, I don't think they'll stay up. I think they might. I think a little bit of um, the sort of buzz from last season might carry them through a little bit on the early stages. But I think when it gets to dark, damp nights in November and January and February, I think they're going to start start feeling it. And I think they'll they'll real tail off. So, yeah, I think they'll go down. Yeah, so we've both got them to go down. Let's go yeah. for 21st and the final side we think will get relegated. Um, I'll let you take take yours first. But we've got yeah. Maidenhead and Wilson. Yeah, I've gone Wheelstone again. I've just I, there's no point. I just may as well copy what you what you said before, Tom. Again, but it's pretty much exactly what you said. That I can't. You pronounced it better than me, Josh Amara. Amara. He, yeah, he scored yeah. 17 last season, apparently. So, um, like I said about uh, Maidenhead, you lose a big goal scorer. It's really, really going to affect you. I mean, finding a goal scorer is really tough, isn't it? So losing 17 goals. They're going to struggle, so I don't see them staying up at all. I think they've been punching above the weight, like you said, but I think it'll catch up on them. And like like we said before, the Dover and the Kings Lins have gone. There's not really any easy points going, so I think they'll no. struggle. Um, Maidenhead, I think it was a couple of years ago, and I want to get this in while I'm watching. Because we're Knots fans, I know George has done this video with me previously, I don't, we, don't, we don't on this channel predict Knots to win the league every time we do this. I think I had Knots finishing third last year, I think. Um so it's not like we just pick pick it like that. Mainhead, I think I put 13th or 14th a couple of years ago. And they had a really, really good season. Maybe it was last year I put them there. They beat some big teams. But like you say, they've lost they've lost a, a big goal scorer up front. So, yeah, it's only gone to strengthen the teams at the top. But yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I put them here. I'm not really sure at the minute whether I think these, these sides will be anywhere close to, to staying up or whether it will be um, really tight until the end of the season. <clears throat> I think Maiden will put up a decent fight. I definitely yeah. do. Um, so, the team's surviving. I've gone Gateshead. You've gone, surprising me, Altrincham. Now, I've yeah. gone Gateshead and I think they'll stay up because even though they've lost Langstaff and Scott, who... Their first game was Baseford. We went to the friendly. They came on second half. Instant, instant connection, obviously. I think they both scored within 25 minutes, half yeah. an hour. Both scored, both linking up really well. They have got Lewis Knight. Now, you, I know you said you don't think he'll get that many goals. I would have kept him at knots had it yeah. not been had it not been to get part of the, I think it was the Sedwin Scott deal. I'd have kept him at knots. I thought it was really good. Never really got a chance because of injuries. If he's in, also, I think Mike Williamson, I think, will be really good. Yeah, 
manager. I, I really do. And they've also sort of replaced it. They got Tom Allen, um, used to be at Newcastle, uh, to sort of bolster their attacking options. But I, th- I think they'll stay up, and I think it will be partly because of the manager they've got. I think he, he did fantastic last season. I think they'll just stay up, and I wouldn't be surprised at the year after. But they must be absolutely good at losing that strike partnership. Yeah. I mean, we wanted William. I, I would have been buzzing. We got proper link with him, didn't we? And I would have been buzzing to have him at Knotts yeah. as a manager. Um, yes. So, but, you know, I just think the goals. But, uh, yeah, I've gone Old Tringham. I think they'll stay up just. And the reason I've put them down there, Tom, is because of the way they reacted to our management hunt. I don't like the way they reacted to it. So I'm putting them in the mud a little bit. I thought they were a bit disrespectful. Why are the newspapers posting about it when nothing's really happened? So I'm putting them down there. And I've heard apparently they've lost quite a few players. Um, so I'm putting them down there a little bit. I know they did, they've did. they become a full-time club now, but that might be something different to adjust to. They've got to try and work out what it means to be a full-time club, the schedule and all that sort of thing. So it might take them a while to adjust. I'm not saying they'll go down. Just thought I'd put them pretty low down, lowish. Fair play. That's some... Uh... That's some real journalistic work there you've got Thank going you. on. Thank you. In the mud. Good terms <laughs> used as well. Um, 19th place. I'll let you take 19th place first, but we've both gone. I've got Eastley, you've gone Barnet. Yeah. Um, uh, gone Barnet. They're a team They're a team lately that have just, in the last two seasons, have just been poor. Like the, the worst side I've seen at Meadow Lane. I think they're the worst team I saw at Meadow Lane last season. I know they've made loads of signings, um, but they've lost Adam Marriott, haven't they? Scored 17 goals last season. So again, my line losing a goal scorer is really gonna really gonna affect them. Um apparently they've, they've made a lot of signings. Um Jamal Loza. Um, but he's not a goal scorer. He doesn't didn't score loads. I think he was at Woken last year, apparently, but I don't yeah. think he's a big goal scorer. I mean, why would Woken let someone go if they really needed him and really Thought that they do well, so yeah, I just don't. I don't see them doing well at all, really. They might rebuild in the future. You know, the, the players that they're bringing in are quite young, um, so they might do better next year. But I think this year, if they just stay up and they cement their place, it'll be all right. Yeah, I've gone easily, and this is the biggest loss I took from last year's predictions. I put easily in the playoffs. They disappointed me so much last year. I really thought they'd be pretty good. They last year they, they signed Jake Hesker, didn't they? He used to be at Southampton and and I put it out there because at the end the end of the video last year, George and myself put um we said who we thought might be one of the players of the season. And I said Jake Hesketh could be one of the players of the season. How wrong was I? Eastley disappointed me so much. I think they weren't they the first side to lose to Dover, if I remember correctly. And I'm just sitting there thinking, this doesn't look good on me. Huh. They're, the, they're the surprise team I put in the playoffs. And I, I sort of have one team every year, I think. And I just had a gut feeling and I was I was embarrassed. So was a little bit swayed because they normally they normally do well. They're a bit of a bogey side for us, aren't they, as well? They so are. maybe yeah. But um the positive for Easy, I think it's the Sam Magoma. That's a good signing, but I just they disappointed me. I don't even want to talk about them because of what they did last season. They really let me <laughs> down, Will. You're gone. They've absolutely let them off the screen. Sold me down the river, they did. They sold me down the river. Anyway. <laughs> We'll go to, to 18th place. Yeah. 18th, I've gone older shot. You've gone Dorking. Yeah. Dorking, 18th, the whopping five places above where I put them. I'll go first. Older shot, worst away game I had last season. Um, wow. Not in terms of not in terms of, of the ground, the atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was absolutely incredible. I'll be honest with you. That's the be- one of the best away atmospheres I've been to. If you've been to older shot, you'll, you'll know. Obviously, it was a little bit, um, it's probably a better atmosphere than you might get on a Tuesday night in February. But it's because they were trying to stay up and they beat us. They, they hammered knots. They, they weathered the storm we put out and then they absolutely hammered us and fair play to them. Um, they were really, really good. They've signed in the F. Young. They've signed Josh McCoyd. Um, Ashby Hammond, they've signed goalkeeper. Yeah. And they had a decent end to the season. They really did. They, they were getting some really good results, a very good result against knots. I think it was 3 1, if I'm remembering right. We finished the game with 10 men. Um, I think. 18th would be decent and then they look to rebuild again after yeah. that. Dorking, 18th for Dorking. Right, I could have gone higher. I could have put them higher. I, I I feel like I've done a disservice to them. I watched that, I watched all of them bunch of amateurs. It's a YouTube show that follows Dorking Wanderers and the story they've been on, they've had like nine promotions in like the last 13 or 14 years. They're just a club on the, 
on the on the up. If you don't know, their their owner is also their manager. He's a lad called Mark Wright. He's uh, yeah. he's a he's a very charismatic person. He uh, but you know they let you in the cheat. They show you the videos of them at half time. He seems really tactical. He's really you know proper man manager. Um, they've got Alfie Rutherford, who is an absolute goal scoring machine. Thirty two goals last season. Uh, I feel like he's going to replicate it again. He's been in the National League before. can't remember how many years ago it was, but he got 15 then as well. So he's proven in the National League. So I think they'll do really well. I think, I think you know, they're a club on the rise. They've got a lot of momentum coming. I think 18th will be a really good, good position for them to finish. I think they're just aiming for survival. If they can consolidate in this season, they'll be happy. So I think they'll, I think they'll just keep riding the wave and keep carrying on. But I think Alfred Rutherford, I think he'll get 15, 20 goals this season, which which will which will help them out and keep them one up. of us is going to be embarrassed at the end of the season by a Dorking prediction. We are, yeah. You're pretty convincing, Will. I'm I'm conf- I'm really confident. I'm confident. Um, so I just talked about Eastleigh, and they were my biggest sort of loss last season when I predicted them. I'm going to go on 17th place, and then I'm going to go talk about one of the the wins I had from last season. So I've gone Barnet, you've gone Eastleigh. Now Barnet. The year we beat them in the playoffs, COVID had uh, just started, if you remember right. Very rainy day, beat Barnet in the playoffs. And I said in the following year's um, predictions that Barnet would have a massive hangover. They did. They had a hangover. And I don't, still don't think they've, they've properly recovered. They got players taken from the left, right and centre. The left back they, they got taken was linked with knots completely. Uh, it's gone out of my head. They, they, lost some, they lost some players. I think finally... They'll start to look a, a bit of a better side, but I would be expecting in recent years Barnet to be up there. But I've got them in seventeenth place. It has no bearing on this season, but if you you will remember last season, they were absolutely hammered by Notts twice. Five, nil, five nil and six one. It was yeah. um, one of the worst goalkeeping performances I've ever seen at Meadow Lane. Um, they've got Musa Diara. Uh, that they've signed. Sean Shields, again, didn't cut it for not, but he was okay last year, wasn't he? So, yeah. Or Weymouth. So, I think they'll be okay, but it's going to be a bit of a nothing season. I don't think they'll really be troubled by relegation and I don't think they'll be troubling any higher up than 17th. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some people putting them up near the playoffs. I'm thinking, how? It's not going to happen. They've got like 12 new players to gel together. I just don't think it's going to work. But, yeah, I've gone easily. Um not really much to say, really, on Eastleigh. Feel like you did most of it. I've just put on my notes on the decline. Very average. Just see them as a very average team. I don't think they'll go down. Don't think they'll be anywhere near the near the playoffs. I just think, you know, they'll get to about April and their season will be done. Yeah, that, that's all I've really got to say. I don't think they're going to pull up any trees or go down. I think they'll just be all right. I don't want to look at the Eastleigh badge anymore. Let me down so much last year. I thought I'd be all right. <laughs> Tell you what, though, you know if uh, Jake Hesketh does does kick on, that they'll, they'll I would instantly put them from my nineteenth to a lot closer to mid table. Really? Yeah, but he's running out of time. You know, he's getting he's not getting on, but he's he needs to kick on pretty soon. I thought yep. it'd be a lot better than that. Um, let's go to sixteenth. I've got Altrin and you've gone York. I know York have got a new hundred year centenary or something this year but why have you gone York in, in 16th place uh, I've gone York they finished 5th last season in the league below and obviously got through the playoffs um, a lot of people are putting them a little bit higher as well there's a lot of positivity around York I don't really get it myself but they're losing their keeper who apparently was one of their best players last season he's gone to football league um, I'm not sure where the goals have come from I tried to have a look to see what who their top goal scorer was last year and None of their players were in like the top 10 in the league for goals scored. So I'm not really seeing where the goals are going to come from. To be honest with you, now I'm talking it out, I'm surprised I didn't put them lower. But I feel like I've been influenced by other people's predictions to telling me that they, they play nice football, that they did well last year. They've got players that have experienced at this level. So apparently, it's experience that will keep your cup. So I've sort of gone with that. I think I've been swayed a bit, but... Yeah, 16th. I've, but now I've talked about it, maybe I should have put them a bit lower. But Fair enough. Um, I've gone Altrincham. Where did you have Altrincham? Is it? I had Altrincham in 20th, so just 20th. to survive. I've gone a bit higher, obviously. Um, gone professional. A decent manager. We didn't want him anyway. 
Um, <laughs> a decent manager. Um, good balance to their squad. I think they beat us early at their place at the start of the season. Um, the end of the season, you know, the last four or five games just felt like training ground exercises because teams had sort of packed up and it was a bit of a weird atmosphere. They're always tricky to play against. One of these teams, though, when they came in the division, I thought they're going to finish like bottom. Yeah. Um, but they've done really, really well. Um, and do you know why I put them in 16th higher than what you put them? Why? Ben Pringle. <laughs> I'd have McNaughts. I'd have McNaughts. I thought he was the only decent player when he came to Med Lane. Only decent yeah. player. They've signed some really good players as well That, that this this um, this summer. They've done really, really well. I think they've got Lundstrom. They've brought Cooper in. I think they're going to be okay. I think they, And then we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens in that. Obviously, their first year being professional, you said it might affect them. We'll see what happens in the yeah. second year. Was that Ben Pringle the one with the ginger head, with the longest yeah. hair, with the headband? Yeah, he was good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I was reading that he'd had, when he signed last year, he'd had football league offers as well. So okay. I know he played a lot higher up in the football league before, but it's going to be interesting to see. I he think was he's, a, he's a really good player. I think he could have played, I don't, like I said, I've had him or not. Yeah. Right, 15th place then. I'm starting to get to the teams that are well clear of relegation. Yeah. Just didn't, have, just didn't have enough to get that playoff place or challenge. 15th, let's see. Oh, snap. First one, first one. Is it the last one that we've got the same? Yeovil, they've not got enough. Simple for me. They've not got yeah. enough. They should be doing better. They should be doing better. But I just don't think it's fully there. They've lost their manager, Sol, who I think is a really good manager. Always speaks really well. He's obviously gone to... Woking, and I just thought he's one of the most respectful managers. He, he talks a lot of sense, and I'm just not sure how their their new boss will have them playing. Will he need an adjustment period? I think he's only managed. I might, I might have got him mixed up. I think he managed at Torquay in the 14 15 season or something like that. But yeah. I just don't. I just don't see them really troubling people. They beat us four 0 both games now. So that I don't see them troubling people. I, I just don't see. They've just not got enough for me at all. Yeah. No, I agree. That's why I've done the same. They've lost. They've lost the goal scorers, aren't they? And I just think um, they don't score enough goals. They got. I look. They scored forty three goals last season. Torquay oh. finished one place above them. Got sixty six. So another twenty odd goals. So I just, I just don't see where the goals are coming from. I think defensively, though, that that's what will save them. But yeah, they're such a weird club. I mean, my mate's a Forest fan, and I was looking up stuff to do this and he pointed at the National League team and was like, Yeovil. I was like, yeah, Yeovil have been in here a couple of seasons now. It's like, they're, they just, they just seem a bit uninspiring at the minute. It doesn't seem like, I don't know, I don't know about how much money they've got or anything like that, but they were in the championship not that long ago. No, it's mad to me. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I, I agree with you. I just totally agree. Like just a steady, I don't think it's good for them as a club finishing 15th, but that's where no. they are. And it is what it is. Yeah, they're, they're, they're an interesting one. Right, 14th place. I'll let you take this away, Will. Scunthorpe. We've both gone Scunthorpe. People, some people have got Scunthorpe to be relegated. Before you go on to say, I don't see Scunthorpe getting relegated. I think people are overreacting a bit. I know there's problems there. There are problems, but I don't think Scunthorpe will go down. No. I don't think they'll be anywhere near. What, what's your reasoning? Reasoning is pretty simple. They, they went down last season 18 points away from the next... They were, they were 18, relegated by 18 points. I mean, that's a big margin. So they were clearly nowhere near League 2 level. Um, like you say, I think the top end of this league is, to, is, is, is good. I think it's as good as the team, some, a lot of teams in League 2. So they'll really struggle against them sort of teams. But then I think they will pick up, pick up a few wins. And I think they're, you know, they need to, they need to stem it a little bit. And they'll, they'll be resilient, I think. I think their resilience and their know-how... They've kept quite a few players from last season, so obviously they'll be in a little bit down in dumps. But they're experienced League Two players, yeah. So I think they'll they'll sort it out. The fans will be getting on the back if not. So I just think they'll st I think they'll do all right. I think they'll fourteenth consolidate. I don't think they'll go anywhere near the relegation zone. To be fair, but I think fourteenth will be a successful season for them. I know it sounds odd because they've just come down, but I think it will be. Yeah, this we're going to probably say it a bit later. This league's horrific to get out of. I thought yeah. not. I I thought. Not to be in here a few seasons, Max, but it's, it's not. It's very, very tough. And we need that second automatic place. I've gone Scunthorpe because it's not as bad as people are thinking. I don't, I, I can't, 
I can't see them going down again. Um, they've got Keith Hill in charge. Decent manager. I think he'll be good for this league. I think he, he won't. He won't. He'll, he'll stem it. They've signed Butterfield, which I'm, I think is a really good signing. Then they've got uh, Whitehouse in the middle as well. So the midfield is looking pretty good. Um, the only thing, and I, like I've already said it with Barnet, like I said earlier, I'm a believer that teams can carry things over to the next season. And like I said, Barnet, when they lost to Knotts in the playoff, they just looked, they were awful in that game. And then they, they had a hangover. The only thing I would worry about is their final game of the season was that, which is famous now, isn't it? The 7-0 defeat to Bristol Rovers. Yeah, That can massively, massively impact like that can carry on like you said there's a few players there that are going to be looking and thinking yeah like we're on a that you have to change the whole mentality in a club yeah. and that's seven nil could could be costly come this season but i think i think they'll be okay they haven't signed a lot have they they haven't they haven't signed a lot of players either so like you say them players that were in that seven nil loss some of them in that starting 11 will be starting the first game of the season and like yeah. you said it's gonna it's gonna have an impact yeah. it's got it's got to um i think they'll initially i think they'll be okay and then i think they'll have a quite a bad patch and then improve yeah. slightly after that 13th so we're getting up there now i'll go first to 13th but i've gone york you've gone older shot i've gone york um ascii who we were also linked with as manager right yeah yeah glad we didn't get him um <laughs> I might, be, might be eating those words so we're four nil losses to yeovil now i said that four nil loss to york because I'm slating these. But he knows the National League. He knows the National League. He's done very, very well as a National League manager. I think this is a side that will continue their momentum. Every time we seem to play York in pre-season, which incidentally we've got in a, in a few days' time after yeah. the Forest friendly, we seem to struggle. Like They seem to be a good side. I think they'll be they'll be the best of the sides that have come up. They're signed Gus uh, Mafuta, who is a good player. Um, Fallerfield. They got Whittle, which I'm surprised by. Released by... Um, Chesterfield, not fun yeah. wanted him at, at wing back. I think I think they've got a good side, and I think thirteenth is very very good for them. And then it all depends on the season after. I don't see them at all being struggled by relegation. Yeah, no, fair enough. I I've sort of agreed. I put them in sixteenth, then I so I think they'll they'll be signed. I've gone out of shot. This is uh, not good journalism from me, but I just I, I just I don't know. Meh. I think out of shot are just a meh team. I think. I just think they'll come solid mid-table. Don't know much about them. You'll probably go into a lot more depth than me about why you've put them wherever. But I was doing my research. Not much came up on them. Didn't really find any exciting signings that they've made. So I thought, you know, they finished. They finished low down last season. But some, it's more of a gut feeling on this one. Just feel like they'll do a lot better than last season, but mid-table solid. I kind of yeah. like that shot. I quite like them. Got a bit of a soft spot for them. I do think, you know, I do think if they started to, to really start doing well, the fans they had yeah. at that game, I know you didn't go to the game, did you? No. Really, really good. Like, top tier. Like, I've always said, Wheelstone fans um, were fantastic at Med Lane, bought like 100, 150. Older shot, one of the best away I've been to. So, 13th place. Right, 12th place. We're starting to get there now. We're starting to get to the size that could challenge for that, that playoff place. It's controversial as well, man, is I'm worried. Here you go. You go first, I'll go. But we've gone. Bournemouth and Halifax. Yeah. Love Island FC you've gone for. I have, yeah. I'm worried about doing that. I think this is where the knives come out, don't they? Halif it's a bit of a controversial one, but they've just been they've been decimated, haven't they? The whole the Halifax from last year is gone. It's not the same, it's not the same team. The manager, the manager's gone. Um, play, he took players with money to Barrow. Um, I'm just, I'm just worried about them. They've lost the striker, aren't they? Billy, Billy, Billy Waters, Waiters, Waters. Waters yeah. Has he gone to Barrow as well? Is it? Is that? Is that the one that's gone to Barrow? I think. Possibly. Yeah. But he's he scored 17 goals last season. They've signed Eastley's striker Sam Smart, who didn't get many goals last season. Don't see him really replicating what. Waters did. I just think, and another thing, when they came to Meadow Lane last season, I was so uninspired by Halifax. I didn't, it was really shocking to, for me how they were actually that far up the table. I can't remember what the final score was. Did we draw? I think we drew. We drew one one. They got a man set yeah. off. I think. Yeah, but we could have. We could. I'm sure we could have absolutely battered them that game. Really, um, I think the they're going to drop off big time. The reverse fixture. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm standing by what I said in one of the papers with respect to the podcast we did after the Halifax game. 
honestly, I think the Halifax resort of their grounds are one of the worst in Knott's recent history. Mm. Like, I'm still talking like 10, 20 years in terms of what happened. 2 nil up, they go down to 10 men, 10 minutes to go, and we lose 3-2. Yeah. Genuinely, um, yeah. one of the worst. I've gone Boreham Wood. They were doing really well last year, and the size of the squad, I think the budget they've got, they just tailed off massively. I like Luke Garrod as manager. I think in, in a year or two's time, he'll be excellent. I, in a year or two's time, I'd have him at Knotts. I'm not sure. You wanted him, didn't you, at Knotts? Yeah, I really like I, him. I do think he'll be a really good manager. Um, Dion Kelly Evans has signed from Knotts, and I said this after the Stockport game when we were we were we lost there. You don't win a league or get promoted with with as much as I love the guy. I don't think you get promoted with Dion Kelly Evans as, as fullback. Fullbacks are so important these days, massively, massively important. I don't think you get promoted with him. They've also signed Danny Elliott. Look, scored a host, a handful of goals, well, loads of goals for Boston. A lot were penalties. A lot yeah. were penalties. That's all right if you play for Chesterfield, who get penalties all the time. <laughs> but um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see it personally. Yeah. So um, nothing against Bournemouth, but um, I just don't see it this year. They've done really, really well, really well. But I don't yeah. see it. Right, eleven. We're into that top half. I could get yeah, a, bit of a, bashing, a bit of a bashing for this one. Let's see who we've gone for. Eleventh place. I've gone Bromley. You've gone South End. Mm. Ooh, Bromley. Good manager. Good manager. Yep. Nose dive at the end of last season. As soon as it came out, he was linked to Gillingham. Yep. I think it was Gillingham. Yeah. Absolutely nose dive. Fantastic FA Trophy win against Wrexham. Fantastic FA Trophy win. Like, no one had them to win that. Their form had, had gone off. I think they'll be okay this season. I think they'll be. In and about the challenging for that playoffs, probably until about five, seven or eight games to go, and then I don't see them as I think seven or eight games to go. I think that they'll be done, and I think I, I don't I don't see them them doing too much more. Very good cup win, um, but they have signed. Am I right in saying they've signed Adam Marriott from from Barnet? Yeah, that could be good. Have they still got Michael Cheek? Uh, I I think so. They've, yes, they have got Michael Cheap, he but he's been good. away. But not for me this year. Not for me. That'll mm. be a good partnership, but not for me this year. Eleventh okay. place. I've gone for South End. Um, obviously come down, but I don't think they've not made loads of signings again. Apparently, they've got a decent sized budget, um, but the players that they have signed. From teams like lower down, like Brackley, Hemel Hempstead, they've signed some players from Barnet. But I don't see them. You know, they take they take time to gel and come in. I think so. I think they've signed quite a lot of young players as well. But I'm just, I don't. I'm not inspired. I think again, like we said, the same that the momentum's the momentum at South End's not great, is it? So I just don't. I don't see them doing too well. They were a bit uninspiring last season, weren't they? Yeah. So I think they'll be a bit uninspiring again. I mean. 13th last season, so I'm putting them a couple of places above how they did last year, but I just I just think they'll be pretty much the same. Fair enough. Right, let's go to 10th place. 10th place, Will, you 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 kick us off on this one, but we've gone for I've gone for Oldham, you've gone for Boreham Wood. Yeah, I've gone Boreham Wood. Um I love the manager, like you said. I lo- love Luke Guard and I loved him to have come to Knots. I would have absolutely loved it. I think he's He's a, he seems a bit of a cup manager and they seem a bit of a cup team. They always seem to do quite well in that. He, but I just love the way, he, I love how inspiring he is. I love his attitude and his grit. So I think they'll they'll be close again. I think they'll burn out again like last season. Though. I think they're a bit, like you said yeah. about Bromley. I just feel like they haven't got, they've, they've, their attendances is really quite low, aren't they? And they're in a tough part of London. They're competing with a lot of big clubs um, for fans and things like that. So when it's a cold Tuesday night, are the players actually getting as much as much up for it when they've not got as many people watching them and things like that? It's just tough. The dogs just wandered in the room. Go away. Good boy. Um, but yeah, so I, I like them. Um, they've signed a lot of players from the league below, but they're improving at this level. So yeah, they've signed Newton as well from Solihull, but didn't score too many last season. So I think yeah. they'll be there and thereabouts. I've gone Oldham 10th and I think that would be good. Good for them this season, 10th. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll get the playoffs. Definitely not. Um, John Sheridan, manager. Let's not talk about that. Not very well liked at Knotts, um, no. but loved at Oldham. I think loved. they love him. He's like they a cult him. hero there, isn't he? Yeah, I don't don't see why. But um, 
old am I going to feel what I've said about Scunthorpe? First season in the National League, Grimsby did insanely well to go back up. Not many teams do at all. So I think Oldham will be okay. And I think they'll be a threat the year after, but they've got a few problems like Scunthorpe have. Um, some decent decent players, Hogan, Maynard, have got. I think they'll be good. I think they'll always be hard to play against. No one will have an easy game. No one will batter them. Yeah. I don't think they'll have enough. I think that they'll have too many off days. Really does depend on their start as well. So, yeah. Fair nine. Enough. Here we go. We're getting to the teams now that will be right there to the end of the season at the playoffs. Yeah. Ninth place, Halifax and Bromley. Halifax, like you say, they've lost They've lost their main striker, Billy Waters, gone. Bradbury, gone. They have signed Dia Soare. Um, Grimsby last year, I think he scored at Medal Lane, didn't he? Am I thinking, right, I don't want to think about that game. Um, they've signed Jordan Keane. Solid, solid player for this level. Really, really good. But like you say, they've been picked apart quite a lot. Pete Wilde's yep. gone as the manager and they are just, they're not going to get that playoff place. Fair enough. Yeah, I've gone Bromley. I like, uh, like you said, Adam Marriott's a great, a great signing. 20 goals last season. I think they'll be there and thereabouts. I think they could sneak into the playoffs. I'm not ruling these out at all. I think Bromley, Boreham Wood and whoever I put further up can all sneak in. Um They've also signed a lad from Folkestone who scored 35 goals last year. I think Folkestone are in the league below the National League, um, National League North and South, aren't they? They're the club that are a bit close to Dover and we quite got quite a few followers yeah. on their Twitter. But yeah, he scored 35 for them. So he's a goal scorer, but how many will get at this level? I don't know. But yeah, I think if they keep Cheek and they keep Marriott as a partnership, they could easily get into the playoffs. But I'll go ninth for the minute. Okay, we move on to the side that miss out on the playoffs. Let's see who we've gone for missing out on the playoffs. Well, Eighth place, Torquay United. I had a feeling we'd both go for this. Yeah, Torquay. They're always, always like like I said about um like I said about uh who was it? What, what uh some of the sides I've said that they're just they're just not easy to play against. Torquay on. Right. Yeah. Torquay. We took Car Cameron. They lost Connor Lemon Havens. They lost Joe Lewis. They lost Armani Little to Forest Green. That is hard to to take. Like replacing those, very very difficult. I think they yeah. they finished. Did they finish eighth last? They finished ninth last season. I think they tailed off. Dagenham finished eighth. I think. I think they finished eleventh in the end. Oh, apparently, eleventh. They didn't really tail off at the end. Um, yeah. I just uh, I just see him missing out, and it honestly, goes to the final day. I think. Yeah. Hard side, really hard side. Um, I don't mind Torquay either. No, I don't mind Torquay. There seems to be a bit of like animosity on Twitter, doesn't there? Because we take a few of their players and stuff. But lovely players, they're always a good challenge. It's like a nice little. I mean, we, we met them in the playoffs a couple of times, haven't we? They beat us you know, last season, whatever. We don't want to talk about it. I'd like to have Lemma Hay Evans here. Um, I just think they're a well coached team, though. I think they're a well coached team. I think they'll always. Who's who's the manager again? It's um. Oh, what's his name? Dancing man. It's gone out my head. He danced. Out my head. He, da he danced when, my head. Uh, when when he would be in knots. He embarrassed yeah. Him. Yeah. I can't remember. But, um, but I yeah, I, th I think they'll be there and thereabouts. They just always seem a solid team at the minute. And they Gary, get... Gary, is it Gary Johnson? That's the one, Gary Johnson. Yeah. That's the one. So, yeah, he's a good manager. I think he'll... I think they'll bring in some. I think they've got a lot more. I think they'll do a lot more in the window. I think they'll bring in some yeah. more players, some good quality players, yeah. and they'll get they'll get there and thereabouts. They lost their, they lost the big players early on, which is always good. Yeah. If you lose it too close to to the season, you're in a mess. So that's Yeovil, Scunthorpe, and Torquay. We've all got in the same spot. I don't think me and George got any in the same spot last year. Right, Great, man. seventh place, getting that last playoff spot on the last day. Oh, wow. Winter. <laughs> Four the same. Four. Wow. Go on, why have you got Woke in, in seventh? Um, they've, they've made a lot of signings. They've made a lot of exciting young signings as well. They make, they're make signing players from Mill under 23s, Chelsea under 23s. They've signed Patrick Hammond from Newport, who's he's getting old. He's 34, but he's a goal scorer. No, he didn't have a good, se a good season last year for Exeter, but over his career, he's an absolute goal scoring machine. He's just one of them. When you, if you've supported teams like us, you know, not in the lower leagues, in the lower football leagues, you know, you Patrick Cameron's a name you've you've heard around the game, haven't you? At them levels, I think he'll score a lot. 
even though he's old, he'll score a lot. And I'm just I'm just excited with what they're doing. If I was a working fan and you're signing young players from big clubs, you're going to be excited. And I think Patrick Hammond comes in, does well. They've also signed Cuthbert from Stevenage, who is by all means apparently a leader at the back. So yeah, I think they'll I think they'll do well. I'm 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 excited about Woking this season. If there's a side like last year, I picked Eastley. I thought I said it. Let me know. Mm. Woking this year, I really do think are going to be a good team. Like, I'm a massive fan. I said it about when Yeovil lost him. Daryl Sorrell really yeah. really like him as a manager. Really talks a lot of sense. Respectful. Um, they signed Ar- Armin, like you said, Nelson Kellerman. I think they're going to be a very very good side this year. And yeah. If this, if the strength of this league for the teams I'm going to mention above wasn't higher, like if, if this if this Woking side were in the league, this league four or five years ago, they'd have been top three in the year that Barrow won it. Top three in the year, Sutton won it. I think honestly, I really, really rate them this season. You're putting That's your neck on the line. They, I hopefully, am. they're not an East League. They're not really an East League because you put them there as well, will you? Give me confidence. Oh, yeah. Right, sixth place. Have we got three in a row the same? Sixth place. I've gone oh. Solihull. And you've gone Oldham. I disagree with Oldham. Big time. Big time, Will. I've gone Solihull. They lost Hudlin, which for me is a positive. Yeah. It's like Kyle Wharton with us. We were so one-dimensional. With Hudlin, fair play to him. He's gone to Huddersfield, B team. He's moved up. And I know... Huddersfield, it's Sorba Thomas that went and he went to the B team and now his first team, really, really good. Sides bigger than Huddersfield looking at him. But that, that's a positive in my eyes. I really don't see it. Solid Hall fans, you might, you might say I'm completely wrong. I watched a fair few times last year and I do not rate him at all. I think he lives off a few yeah. goals. Um, Dallas, fantastic. Josh Kelly from Maidenhead, they're going to be fantastic. Sabora, when his contract was extended, I was gobsmacked to be honest I didn't think you'd keep him for me yeah. one of the best players in the division honestly one of the best players in the division you finish sixth and I tell you I think wins the playoffs when we've done seven to two okay so it was sixth fair play yeah I've gone Oldham no they got relegated last year they've had a bit of trouble but they're getting new owners in so it's all going to be positivity and brightness at the club now um we saw it though when we had some bad owner well he who shall not be named uh, it changes the club around when a new owner comes in. You get everyone gets together, everyone comes together. There's a lot more positivity in the air. I think they're going to do all right. I know um, they've signed Hogan and Maynard from Stockport. Both of them played last season. Both of them have got the winning mentality, recent winning mentality. I think they'll change the mood around the place. They've made a lot of signings from League Two, um, players who have played in that in the higher division. So. I think they'll do well. I think they'll do well. They've signed Chris Porter, 38-year-old goal scorer in his career. I don't know a lot about him, but he's 38 years old and he scored goals from when I was looking at Wikipedia yesterday. So I'm just feeling confident on Oldham. They're a bit of my neck on the line club. I think they're going to do like what we did. I think we were at such a low that when a new owner's come in, it's a it's, it's like a balloon of positivity. Everything just rises. So I think it'll be good. Beautiful thing to hear that is. Like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, your neck on the line club is Oldham. My neck on the line club is the next side. <laughs> Big neck on the line. I'm feeling nervous about Go this on. one. I don't know who it's going to be. Last year, I put Easley in there. I'm not sure about this one. Right, I'm a bit nervous for this. You you kick off with yours first, but we've gone fifth place. I've gone South End. You've gone Dagenham and Redbridge. Why have you gone uh, Dagenham? Uh, I've gone Dagenham. They've been good for a couple of years now. Uh, they've made some good signings, quality level, quality players from this level. Uh, McCallum's still at the club, who's a goal scorer. I just think that they've been steadily improving over the past couple of years, and I feel like this is their time now. They're very much a strong team. They always look quite... I'm always impressed when we watch them, except for when we beat them, when uh, old uh, uh, Michael Doyle went in goal. But yeah, not got loads to say about them. I just think they're a club on the rise again, and they've made... their they've kept their main players, they've made some good signings and I think McCallum will score goals at this level again. So, yeah, I think they'll win yeah. playoffs. South end, pure gut feeling. The only pure. South there that I say is a pure gut feeling. They had an adjustment period. They had a mid- middle part of the season in which they were, they were pretty good. They won a fair few in a row. 
start to build momentum. It tailed off at the end, but I put their, their momentum tailing off the end is that they just realised they were too far away from the playoffs. Had they been closer, I think they would have kept that focus. Don't mind Southend at all. And I think that's going to be my side. That's going to be my one-off sort of pluck from thin air, but I just feel like they're going to be all right. Not feeling it. Not top feeling four, it. Will. Big top it's four. The Champions League spots. European places. Yeah. Fourth place. Dagenham and Redbridge for me. Solid for you. I'm echoing what you've said about Dagenham. Yeah. Wrexham could have won the league on the last game of the season. And Dagenham won 3-0. I've said it about Scunthorpe losing 7-0. How that could yeah. impact that season. Yeah. Dagenham winning 3-0. I, I really thought they were going to get the playoff places. I thought they were going to get Chesterford's playoff place at the end of the season. And I would have hated them to be in the playoffs at the time. Because you never know if you're going to come up against them. You said it before, they've got McCallum, they've got Omar Moussa, they've got Tavares from Wealdstone. They trimmed the squad. It's it, They finished really well. You know, they put seven past Barney. That's not difficult, is it? I mean, we put five and six. Yeah. Um, Barney were battered by everyone. But still, they put seven past Barney. You know, they beat Bromley 2 0 away. They just had some really, really good results. I think Dagger and Redbridge are going to be an insanely difficult side this year. And I wouldn't put the past and have a real run at getting back to the Football League. Yeah. Well supported club as well, isn't it? So they've got the backing of the fans. If they start doing well, momentum carries them forward, doesn't it? I think I, I, think I saw something wasn't it? So it was saying if everyone supported their local team, they'd be the most supported side in the country. Really? Yeah, yeah. Fair play. I, I might be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Well, I just made it up, plucked out of thin air, but it sounds good, Tom. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with it. Yeah. yeah. I've gone uh, Solly Hull. Um, pretty much what you said. I think Neil Ardley, I think. I think he's a really good manager. I really rate it. I still like him. I mean, I look. I, I think he's a good manager. I think he he knows his style of football, and he, he's effective at this level. And he's, he's known to get teams up. I think Dallas was the best player I saw last season, uh, live in the flesh when we, when we went away to Solihull. He's just different gravy. He's different level, isn't he? He's, if we'd have got him last season, we'd have really, really pushed a lot more. But he's a quality, quality player. I think that you know. I just, I just, everything you said, I think they're going to just consolidate on last season. They're going to keep Dallas. They're going to do well. They're a well coached, efficient club. Fair there enough. we are. Right. Top three. I believe we've got the same three teams left. Are we going to get yeah. any? We could get all three in the same order. Could, we, could have, we could have seven teams in the same positions. Right. Let's see. Third place. <sighs> just <a few> oh. <laughs> Right. Off you go. It pains me to say it. I don't like I don't like them. I'm sorry. I, I don't like Chesterfield. Um it's if if Shimanga stays fit and he comes back comes back firing goals like he did last season, he can see him by himself get him third place. Or he can get him second or he can get him first. If he if he could get literally get 35, 40 goals next season, oh, it's a bit silly, but 35 goals he could. He was on, I'm That's sure he was on he was on for 40. Exactly, that's the rate he's on. So if he, but we, no one knows how he's going to come back. He's had a serious injury that could really, really knock a player, couldn't it? I mean, there's probably loads of examples that I can't think of any at the minute, but there's, there's probably loads. So if he comes back firing, he single handedly could get them into third place, I believe. Um, they've signed Old Acre from Dorkin, who, as I said, I've watched the YouTube videos. He looks like a really, really quality signing. Um, him training full time at a club, he'll, he's a really good, really good player. Um, so I just think with Shimanga they'll come, they'll do well. But if Shimanga's not firing, they could easily fall out of the playoffs, in my opinion. Yeah, like last season, they properly, properly fell off, didn't they, towards the end? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got written down here: Shimanga fifty-fifty high returns. Yeah. Might come back firing, like you said. Could take, could come back and be have a poor season by his standards. Could come back and be good after ten games. Yeah. You don't know because he's not had any competitive football. Friendlies are fine. I don't know if he's played in friendlies yet, but competitive. They've signed Dobra, which is a good signing. They've signed Gayassi, another good signing. I think he's the guy that got a hat-trick against Wrexham in that crazy game. Mm. They did lose Khan. Now, I've seen people playing that down. I think he was all right. And I know a lot of Chesterfield fans didn't know why he wasn't getting more minutes. They lost Scott Loach. Um, yeah, Darby, I think. Yeah. Uh, they weren't announced. Oh. Until Miller gone. Or, um, Calvin Miller's up for transfer I think I don't know if at this point he's gone 
Mm. Paul Cook had the opposite effect of what they wanted when he came in. And I know Shimango got injured. He had the complete opposite effect. Now, he could turn that round, but I don't yeah. know if he will. I don't know. And I'm going third place. And I think the top three, I think, are going to be a runaway top three, in my opinion. I've got wow. Dagenham, Dagenham in fourth, very strong team. I think that the top three are going to be... It's going to be the top three battling out for the, for the whole You made season. me nervous saying that, because I know one of the teams that's left. So Okay. Second place, I'll kick off with this. Have we got it the same? We're at, I think we're at five together. Second place, I've wow. got Repton, you've got knots. <laughs> now, this is <laughs> Brexit fans. Let's have some let's have some friendly banter this season because what I'm gonna say insanely strong team. Let's not put it pa- past them. Ryan Reynolds came in with McElhenney, McElhenney. Yeah, McElhenney, yeah. And I thought they're not gonna know what they're doing. Like, where's their footballing experience? And I thought they're going to throw some money at players. Might not work. It worked. Let's be honest. Apart from going up, it worked. Mullin came in really good. Was it Palmer? Came in good. The players they had, really, really good. Uh, all over us until we got a man sent off at our place. Um, they were really good at their place. Only a Grimsby team with superpowers stopped them. Like, you could have been 5-0 up against Grimsby and they would have come back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like They were just ridiculous. Would have stopped them. I think they would have won the final had they got there. Um I think they're going to be good. And here's why I don't think you're going to go up. This could come back to bite me. So, you know, I'm oh. putting myself on the line here. Right, some fans clip this and save it for the end of the season. Because if you want to run it in my face, you can. The reason I don't think you're going to go up, Phil Parkinson. Wow. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's got it. I don't think so. So, look, it's just a bit of fun. Predictor. I don't. I don't see it. I don't oh see gosh! It. I can't believe you've done it. I don't know he's going to do it or not. I, don't, I just don't think so. I love the confidence, though. I think it's going to be insanely close, like possibly closer than Wrexham Stockport last season. That's my reason in the second place. Stupidly strong team. Documentary yeah. trailer looked pretty good as well. I wish everyone liked that about Knox, but I go Wrexham second place. And and I'll say it now: Wrexham are my playoff winners. So that's what right. so I, I, I went Woking, Solihull, South End, Dagenham, Chesterfield, Wrexham. I think Wrexham in the playoffs. Fair play. I think they beat Chesterfield in the final one now. Well, yeah, I've I've sadly I've gone not. I mean nothing. I'd love nothing more than to be wrong and for us to to be taught. I would happily for you to get this suggestion right, this prediction right, Tom, because I'd love us to win the league. I'd absolutely love it, but. I'll tell you what. So I'll tell you why I think we'll come second. I think we've got we've signed two quality players in Scott and Langstaff. Fifty-two goals. Not nothing more needs to be said. Fifty-two goals speaks speaks for itself. And we've seen them in the flesh. They look quality. They look good in the new little lilac, violet, whatever colour you want to call it. Kit. It looks great. We're loving it. They're all Stunning. over social media. What's that? Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. I've only just Stunning. taken it off, and I bought it three weeks ago. I've slept in it. I want to work in it. Yeah, that's what really the effect not. it has, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's multi-purpose. It's beautiful. Um, but we've also signed. We kept Callum Rubin. That's massive. That's twenty-six goals, thirty-six goals from last season. I mean, we're, we're racking up eighty-eight goals between four players. We should be absolutely score. We should be putting loads past teams. Really, um, Baldwin, Badrami look really, really good. Austin, I think, will be a decent backup player. I don't think he'll start. I think the signs we've made are really, really good. I'm more optimistic this season than I was last season, but I feel like I do that every season. Yeah. But honestly, the positivity around the club is fantastic. Luke Williams looks like a great manager, as, as we saw in the interview. I'm really, really buzzing. I'm just, just, the only reason I'm not putting us to win the league, because I think this is the best position we've been in since being in the National League by far. I think our team this season is a lot better than the team last season now. I know that was a question you asked on the on the channel a little while back. I think our team is better now. But the only reason I don't think we'll win it is because of Wrexham. And I'll explain in a minute, but yeah. Fair enough. Um, I want to go back there. I just want to say Tony Cliff signing for Wrexham is massive. Really good player as well. Right, first place then. I've got Notch, you've got Wrexham. Um, we've sort of just discussed this, haven't we, really? Yeah, we've got a split um, role, yeah. Yeah, so do you want to just elaborate a little bit more on what you just said? Or I've gone, I've just gone Wrexham. I've put, I've put the first, it's not fair. It's not fair. 
We can't compete. I don't. I, I want us to compete. Nothing more. But I just think the amount of money they're spending is is madness. I'm not. I'm not holding that against them at all. If you've got the money, spend it. Fair enough. They've got the backing. Do it. We do exactly the same. We've spent money this this window. Fair enough. But they've still got Paul Mullin, 28 goals last season. I think he can get more. Easily, I think he can get more. I think some Wrexham fans are a little little bit disappointed that he didn't get more, to be fair. They absolutely yeah. battered us in the two games we played them in the league. You know, at, at their place, we were lucky to get away with a draw. Yeah. At our place, before the man got sent off, like I said, we were getting we were getting mauled, to be fair. Um, they've signed Eddie Lee, who's played 34 games in League One last season. He played in the Championship not too long ago for Luton. He was with Luton whilst they were on the the up through going through the Football League. The only issue is, can they all gel together? These new signings, these big, big names for this level, can they all gel? I don't know. I thought they would have won it last season. They didn't. So I'm really, really, really happy to be wrong again. But I'm just not sure I will be wrong. But one little dig, these throw-ins, I absolutely hate them. I hate, I hate the toes of throw. So... Hopefully they use that a little bit more because I don't think it's that effective either. But I don't know. I'll be really, really happy to be wrong. Three goals from a toes of throw at Med Lane then. Now you said that. Yeah, that'll be it. I've got knots to in the league. I think the signings this season are so smart. I honestly think they're so smart. We've, we've signed two forwards. Hopefully they don't get injured. Langstaff and Scott together. Scott's not well at the minute. I think he's got like a virus. Langstaff's been playing up front, scored like a six-minute hat-trick against Cambridge, albeit a friendly. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, we beat Leicester uh, in like a training ground friendly. Yeah, it's a friendly. They had Harvey Barnes playing. They had Ian Acho playing. They had Chowdhury playing. They had about nine or ten first-team players. Yeah. Pereira. Pereira playing. Good players. We're National League. They're under 23 should be able to compete with us with and with a smattering of those players in there really good um williams is in virtual with a little bit of nastiness which we lacked last year we were so nice in some games like not slowing games down or not being aggressive williams has a clip that that george put on his twitter 82 minutes into the game against leicester and uh luther i'm gonna say it mother kandafa that we've got the young lad right. that's not bad good well done Gets a throw in and William just screaming at him to hurry up 82 minutes yeah. into like the second friendly, third friendly of the season. I like that. Badger Army wanted by League League Two clubs, League One clubs. He's come to us. Um, I think he's going to be really, really good. Baldwin looks fantastic. You know, we've still got a couple of players to come as well, I think. So we've, yeah. we've streamlined the squad. I think Adebayo Rawlins not been putting up trees in pre season, but I think he'll be pretty good. I think he just needs to get into it a bit more. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to, going to win the league. And that, I just want to say, I, I said it earlier in the video, you've skipped forward. I didn't predict not to win the league every season we do this. I think I put us second or third last year. Um, and that's that's what I'm going for. Who wins, who, wins, who wins your playoffs? Did you say that? Who wins my playoffs? <sighs> not. There we go. I, think not, I, I, would, I, I would say not because I think the nasty, I think Luke Williams can, can get us through it. I think the depth we've got now. I, like, I think it'll be close. I think it'll be close. I, I think a lot of people think Wrexham will run away with it. I don't think they will. I think we will really, really keep keep on their toes. Them two games against Wrexham are going to be like cup finals. They're going to be absolutely incredible well, games. Let's be honest. It, 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 it's obvious to say, but if one of the teams win it, six points ahead, six, they've gained six points on the other team. Like That, that, could, that could win or lose the season. Yep. So, Will, you've been a pleasure. It's been great. A delight. You're in your old style, not top. You're smiling. You know. If anyone just, knows just, what year this is, by the way, I got it from it's it's my, my granddad's old one, and it's felt. The badge is felt. It's beautiful. If you know the year, put it in the yeah. description. You win absolutely yeah. nothing, but you win our respect, don't they, Will? Yeah, hundred percent. You do. Massively <laughs> do. Um, so there are predictions. As I said, bit of fun. We're probably going to get some far wrong. We'll probably get a few bang on at the end of the season if we can be bothered. You know, if we've not gone up and we just don't want to do it then uh, we won't tell you how well we did. But if, if we have gone up, then we'll sort of put a little table together yeah. and tell you how well we did. Um, so, yeah, cheers for joining us on that, Will. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so because uh, it massively helps us out ahead of the season. Whether you're a Knotts fan or a fan of any other side in this division, uh, we'll always be be talking about every single Knotts match. So there will be some coverage of your side, especially in the pages, perspectives and post-match videos we do. So that would be really helpful. And, uh, yeah, like and share. Let, let us know what you think. Um, 
let us know if you think we've had some clangers or if, like me, you think Southend might make the playoffs and <laughs> you know, Mason and Finn's bottom. So, um, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.